And this is my ship. Not just a ship, but a friend. And not just for business, but for pleasure as well. Sometimes she makes me forget there's any difference between the two. For when I'm aboard her, a business trip becomes a pleasure trip. She takes me to far off places and she brings me safely home. She's a proud ship. Proud of the fact that many people have spent a lot of time, money and careful thought on her creation. Proud to be worthy of comparison with the other great ships of the Orient Line. Or indeed of any line in the world. The connection between food and well-being is obvious. Less obvious at first sight, but just as important the moment you start to consider it, is the administrative side. Some passengers would only be aware of these men and women if they failed him, but they never do. So the discerning passenger is very conscious of their efficiency and good temper, and is grateful for the contribution they make to his comfort and ease of mind. The travel advisor was extremely helpful and put my wife at ease right away by answering all the little queries that bother a family putting to sea for the first time. What clothes should we take? How should we set about booking a hotel in Melbourne? And what was the best way of getting from Melbourne to Brisbane? The Orchides was waiting to greet us at Southampton at the end of our brief train journey. I'm not a VIP, but on the day I boarded the Orchides, I felt like one, and I think every other passenger felt the same way. The cabin was beginning to feel like home already. I wondered how many different types the steward had shown into it on other trips. Parents are all right, but one likes a rest from them sometimes. Fortunately, they don't seem worried as long as Miss Bell's around. She's a good sort, she is. And believe it or not, nobody knows the full thrill of horse racing till he's experienced it in these somewhat unexpected surroundings. The bookies are all stewards. And frankly, it's the way the crew enter into it that makes it such fun for everyone else. It has all the trimmings. You'd hardly be surprised if you heard a throaty voice declaring, I got a horse, and saw Prince Monolulu's ostrich feathers bobbing among the crowd. <laughs> They're off. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner. But all the fun, the good living, the sense of well-being that every Orient Line passenger enjoys, they aren't things that just happen. Behind them lies a lot of hard work and careful planning, in which every Orient employee plays a vital part. Whether it's the young sailor giving a lesson on knots, or the captain himself, all these Orient people have one thing in common, I've found. Pride of service. I don't mean civility, quite the opposite. Only a man who knows his own job can give service with dignity. Only one who is worthy of respect can show respect. Genuinely, I mean. I think that's their secret. They're all experts, whatever their jobs may be. And they all enjoy their jobs. Not only the technical side, but the little social extras as well. I shall always remember the skill, the helpfulness, the friendliness of these people of the Orient Line. Men and women who live by and are always adding to a long tradition of service. Who make me glad to say, I am a passenger.